right. Checking out the full cut. Which is awesome, I love it. Yeah, it's really, really cool stuff. It's coming along really nicely with the T-Rex there. Um, looking at it separately, I think the only thing that I'm seeing here is like, this is cool, right? I like the energy. I like the pivot off the foot there. That's all cool. I like the speed of the tail. I like how he closes his mouth, it all adds to the tension. But then, through this here, this feels slow. There's something about this being... It's kind of dragging along, and then this is a very, very long step. Meaning it, it takes a while for it to go from A to B, and because it takes so long, he's starting to feel off balance. You know, where if this goes off, uh, off the air, off the ground, sorry, he would lean over and he would have that kind of a sideways tilt. Uh, body would be tilting over and then have that leg up here come down. And then it would have to kind of come towards us because, because of the weight shift, right? So it does this. Boom! Takes that step there, leans more, screen left. Boom, screen right, so you would have to do kind of an over there arc coming back so you can lean forward into that yell. But I think the what you have to do here, the tricky thing is if he's like this, right, and he wants to go back, the only way he can go back is by this foot staying put and pushing his body backwards you know because this guy's so far back there's no other way for him physically to go back so as he goes back you're already moving his foot backwards which doesn't work in terms of his action there and I, I uh, just quickly I hope this is the camera this feels like his foot is sliding screen left but it's probably the camera just make sure that this is not a pop there because I see a, a left, but here it seems not going to the left, but it might also be because his toe is going through the ground. So I'm not sure here. So you're going to have to have to uh, keep that foot further out here. Push, push, push. And then maybe around here, get off the ground for the forward step, which means you can't go as far back. It might just stay around here. And then take the step forward into that. I think throughout after this, his arms are a bit too far out. They feel a bit too twinned with those L shapes, and they're also kind of slow. I think you could have moments where they can kind of come down and in an arc and a little aggressive, a little grab or something like a little, uh, you know, through here it feels very, very slow and always that L shape and not doing anything. Whereas here it actually gets better from here, it's back up and then it's cool. So that's about it. Little things. And don't forget, as you take the steps, you know, it's stuff you can do in the back and the hips. Every time there's weight on this, the hips will go up here and we'll kind of have a side to side rotation and bumps in there. And I wonder for that yell, you might, or for that, you know, roar, you might have. If you track the top part, it might go down a bit more and up and forward. You notice it's a bit more of a rawr, like really, really going down and forward. And this feels potentially a bit too timid. And then you can have a tiny bit of a left and right shake, like a high frequency little shake there. Some in the tongue as well. You know, a bit more high active, uh, high frequency than just bleh, that. That feels more like he's barfing something out bleh, versus rawr, and then going back. All right, that's what I have. It's very, very cool. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.